Hi art friends! Hello art friends! We've got our pencil cases with us today because we said in one of the earlier videos that we wanted to do like an updated pencil case tour. Yeah, and we figured it's such a nice day. Um, we've been taking a few Polaroids, so this is one that Adam taken that I really like. Look at that arty Polaroid that I did guys. Isn't that so sweet? <laughs> That's going on my fridge. So, here is my pencil case. Oh, let's get a good look at this. I put so much stuff in it that it's so difficult to like zip it up. You really got to fight to get this. I've been so get scared this. of breaking this thing yeah. when we go out and about recently. That's why I normally only just half do it up. <laughs> I'll show you what's inside. I'm kind of nervous to show mine because I don't think anything's changed. <laughs> but yours actually Mine's has quite a bit. entirely different most likely. So this video, yeah. this video can be about you. Oh, I still want you to show your stuff because some people might not have seen your old pencil case one. <laughs> Saving the best for last. <laughs> Right, what have we got? So this is a purple Uniball eye pen that Ooh. I picked up after we went on a date recently. Yeah, we did. You know a date always ends really well, guys, when it ends in buying art supplies. If you get your uh, the sketchbooks out your bag, I'll do some swatches. To oh, show. that's a good idea. We're going to do a demo. Yeah. Okay, cool. What are you doing? Um, I found a snail and I want to take a picture of it. <laughs> Like you were literally about to start doing this pencil case video and I was like, there's a snail on the tree. Hmm. I'm trying to level up my composition. Oh, are you thinking of the composition? This has got to be a good snail picture. <laughs> That's very artsy of you. Okay, I'm excited to show you that one. Okay, so we'll wait for this to develop during the video, guys. Yeah, we'll give you updates on the snail picture. <laughs> so here's just some quick little swatches for it. It's really nice for doing like purple coloured line drawings. It's good. Actually depending on the speed as well, <laughs> there's uh, quite a bit of line variation as well if you... Uh... Yeah, it has a nice ink flow to it, but yeah that's a, a new little favourite of mine. And it draws really cute smiley faces. Another one is one that you probably already saw in my birthday video, Oh. which is mild liners. Oh yeah, I got you these. Yeah, Adam got me these. And they're basically highlighters, which you guys know I love. But they're in much milder colours. So kind of pastel-y. Yeah, a bit more pastel. And they've got two ends, which I still forget to this day <laughs> to use. And I've got those in... Um, they all came in like a little pack together. So there's this yellow, orange, pink, green and blue. Oh. And I think that's all of those. I'm pretty sure, yeah. And I, I wanted to get you like the most colourful pastel-y ones possible. Now, so. These are one of my new absolute favourites that I really don't think oh, I've these properly things. introduced you guys to. Yeah. They're called V pens and they're uh, disposable fountain, fountain pens. pens. Yeah. yeah. So if you see in here, they've got little fountain Look, pen nibs. It's got a nib and everything, guys. And I love that they have this little clear glass window where you can see the ink inside. It's like sloshing around in there. So you can see how much that you have left. And I've got these in a whole host of colours, so that's the red and, one. And as you can see guys, it's basically a super cheap disposable fountain pen. I mean, it says that it has erasable ink, but I've heard you need some kind oh. of special pen for it, which I, I don't have, so I, I really don't know how to erase with these. But I've got an orange one, and this one was so hard to find. <laughs> I had to look on all kinds of websites to try and source this orange one, so this one's really special to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, yeah, this is a black one. Adam was very sweet and he bought me a blue one once, which I bet you can't even remember buying me now. <laughs> nope. <laughs> this one I really like, that's such a pretty colour. And we've also got a nice pink. Ooh. I'll show you that. So yeah, I've got lots of coloured inks on me now. You're on such like a massive ink high. Mm, like, I really am. Ever since the start of the <laughs> year you've been like on such a big ink like fest. And I couldn't part with an actual highlighter, and of course it's the blue one, because that's the best one. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure that was something that you had in the uh, previous pencil Probably. Case, but then and again, I can't talk, because I don't think mine's changed. And if you can see the colour comparison between a mild liner and this is a Stabilo one. It's definitely looking like more washed out and pastel-y, that Yeah. One. It's nice to have the mix of the two. This is a pencil that I've stolen off Adam. <laughs> Which, that's the 2B one, I was looking for that like yeah. the other day. It's a really posh brand called Mitsubishi. You know I'm all about these Mitsubishi <laughs> pencils, guys. <laughs> I think it's a high uni one, or, but basically any pencil by Mitsubishi <laughs> is really nice, guys. And this is one that I actually am a huge fan of using for myself. Oh, Colorase. Red Colorase pencils. We did a video on this not too long ago, guys, if you can remember. I've completely erased this down <laughs> to a stump. 
But if you can see, yeah, they are erasable red pencils. Totally magic. But yeah, guys, we'll link the video where we explain why people use these and why they're super useful. Up next, we've got a white gel pen, and this is the best white gel pen in the entire world. It's, it's also a... an Uniball one. Oh, uh, it's a Mitsubishi one then. Oh yeah, it's Mitsubishi. Right. <laughs> and they've got pretty good ink on them to go over. The pigment is very strong, yeah. I mean, this hasn't really dried for long enough to properly show its power. To show its power. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But yeah guys, really good. Um, if you use like tan paper or if you've got a sketchbook with black paper in, the pigment's awesome. Yeah, they're really cool. I've also got a silver Posca pen with me. In 0.7 that is. It's quite a fine one. Not 0.7 millimetres, mm -hmm. yeah. It's a really tiny one. One of the finer tipped ones. And when it catches the light, it's, it's got a shimmers. nice glimmer. There it is. Ah! I'm dropping everything! <laughs> Up next we've got, I think it's a Pentel brush, it's all in a different language on it Japanese. which doesn't help. Oh wait, there we go, it's Pentel, and oh, it yeah. does say Japan on it. Ooh. And this is like a dark ink wash. Oh wow, is... yeah that's... I'm quite a fan of this. That is quite dark, but very pretty too. And I've got this little Micron fine liner. To be honest, this isn't in a, a line weight that I normally use, I normally like a 0.5. But um, I just grabbed one to go out and draw with, so I've got this one with me at the Is moment. Is that the one that we used when we went and drawn Barry, the pigeon? Did you use that one? Or did you use it when we went to the snow Um, It was in the tree video. Look how, look how stuffed this is, guys. <laughs> oh, there goes my glasses. <laughs> no wonder it's so stuffed. Oh, where's that picture that we were developing? Oh, snail, yeah. Is he on there? <gasps> no! Oh, is that him? It's come out way too dark. <laughs> Okay, we should show your pencil case now then, I guess. <laughs> we should after that terrible photo. I'm going to totally take another one. I'm that... The snail might have run away by now. Honey, do you know how snails aren't fast? Are you excited to show what's in your pencil case? <laughs> not, as excited, not as excited as you. Are you doing a dance? I'm like a happy goose. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope I've got something in here that, that's new. So this is Adam's pencil case. <laughs> guys, seriously, come I just want to show you guys ah! that I'm not being crazy. There is totally a snail here. See? There he is. That, this is this is the shot that I envisioned. This is how it's supposed to look. <laughs> so just pretend this is on a really pretty Polaroid thing. Okay. I just had to get that out of my system. I got distracted by a really large bee. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> the pencil case tool with your pencil case. <laughs> that we're totally supposed to be doing. <laughs> I, only, I can't even remember what's in here. <laughs> well, that should be exciting. <laughs> okay, I think there is at least one new thing in here. <gasps> really? We're, we're okay. Okay, everyone hype <laughs> yourself up. <laughs> I'm showing it your last. Make sure you watch to the end. <laughs> oh, recently? Okay, yeah, this is a genuinely new thing. There's more than one. <laughs> recently, I've been trying out these. These are Derwent graphic pencils and they come in ridiculously high grades. Oh yeah, that's of, a 9 -inch. Instead of the really soft grades that I normally use. And this is really good for doing like initial sketching and stuff before you go in and tidy it all up and everything. This has been super useful and because it's so hard, it's super easy to erase. It's like, it barely, if I show you, it's like, it's barely even there. <laughs> you grabbing my sketchbook. <laughs> and your glasses. Hey, you don't need my glasses. <laughs> but if I give you a quick demonstration of this. Oh, there's a lot of your hand shadow in here. Can you see? It's oh yeah, that's very light. It's there. It's because it's such a hard grade pencil, though. It's light in real life. It makes it super easy to erase. So if you mess up, it doesn't leave any. Do you have marks. an eraser? I do. This is just a regular. Uh, I think it's Stettler. I'm not. I've never been Stet sure. Stettler. Stettler. It's kind of hard to pronounce with the T and the D near each other. It's it's meant to be one of those erasers that doesn't leave shavings, but as you can see, it, it leaves, leaves a, a lot of shavings. It leaves quite a few shavings for you to tidy up. Also, I mean, Steph's already covered this, but I've been totally getting into using color yeah, rays recently. Yeah, he is. It, normally color rays isn't really his kind of thing. And again, I think you guys might have seen this in a video before. Oh yeah, I remember that. But these are just so ridiculously cool, like clicky erasers. I think yeah, you know how you get like mechanical pencils? 
This is essentially a mechanical eraser. And it's made by uh, Tombow, which actually make amazing uh, erasers anyway. So if you're after a really small eraser, this is amazing. They come in different sizes as well, don't they? Yeah, they come in, it comes in a chisel tip like that, but it also comes in like a small sort of like cylinder shape. If you imagine like a mechanical pencil lead, now it's quite thin yeah, and, and round. It comes in a shape like that, one. but they're both really good. I actually have both, but the other one I must have left at home. Something else that I've been really into again and i never thought i would until i found this actual brand of uh, mechanical pencil it's by rotring oh yeah i remember you getting this we actually went this when we again when we went out on a date and we found an art supply shop and we went in and just bought something i never thought i would find a mechanical pencil that i actually enjoy using and if you're kind of like me and you prefer using traditional like wooden pencils give this a try because i was really pleasantly surprised with this thing and I actually use it quite a lot in the stuff that I post on Instagram and stuff now. Last but by no means least, I'm, to be honest, I'm just glad I had this many things to show you, <laughs> is one of these. This is made by Derwent, and I'm sure you guys might have seen something like this before. It's so simple, but so amazing, especially because I like using wooden pencils. It's a pencil extender, so you go from a tiny little pencil yeah. to something a little bit more easier to use. You just plug it in and then plug it in. <laughs> I don't know, what's the technical term for putting a pencil inside of a barrel? I barrel the pencil. And you just screw it in so it tightens up and then you've got a pencil you can use again. I carry around like, I mean, that one's not so bad. I hate asking to borrow a pencil but... off Adam because he'll hand me something <laughs> like this. I always have so many of these, like these little stumps. So even crows hate them. <laughs> well, that crow's been loving your oh, pencil there. case too. Oh no, they're all having a conversation. He's his friend. He's like, have you seen these pencils? They're amazing. <laughs> Are you trying to get a photo with that snail again? I'm determined to. Oh, he does have quite a curly little yeah. shell. And he has such pretty colours on there as well. That's why I want to try and get a picture of him. Are you ready? That might be what it is. If you're too close, it goes blurry. No, it wasn't too blurry. It was too dark. All I want is a photograph of a snail. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> oh, there's a family coming over. <laughs> Maybe they'll help me take a picture of the snail. Probably not. Subscribe for more art videos because we're posting a video every day this week. Every single day. I'll put a playlist of all the other little ones from this week. Where are you looking? You're looking the wrong way. The playlist is over here. <laughs> Where's the playlist? Doodle day. Doodle day. Bye. Bye guys. Could have been digging around in there. <laughs> it's because everything's the same. <laughs>